Hi, uh, this is Advocates Diary Case Management Mobile Application Android Device. So, uh, as you guys can easily understand, this is for advocates and lawyers for managing their cases. But uh, the be be best thing is, this application is going to be working on the Android mobile, which is you know uh, it is it is handy device which uh, nowadays very popular. So we are launching this application as a free first of all for the use uh, of different advocates for uh, the time period of two months so that they can carefully check the functionalities they can learn and understand and then if they guys can uh, like if they want they can upgrade the the, the uh, subscription to the premium version so uh, two months is a big uh, thing I think for uh, you know uh, to check the functionalities so I will explain you each and every detail first of all uh, how this application works what all functionalities you guys have to uh, you know provide at the start so uh, as this application is related to the case management so there are different things which comes into picture one is uh, the personal information of a lawyer like who is the lawyer because we display the name of a lawyer on the on every pages on every you know web pages or uh, this on the different pages so uh, one thing is that and in personal information you will have to enter name email and phone number so all the three things should be valid why because um, email should be verified so we send email to you guys so that you can verify and then uh, all the further emails will be sent to you like whatever case you are scheduling we send emails to that email id only so this is very important step please enter your email very carefully and then uh, your 10 digit mobile number this should be correct because uh, we may send sms uh, for related to the your uh, hearing details so it will help you to organize your cases so you know you don't need to remember the uh, whose case is in which court and anything so we will be sending you all the information uh, name is very important because we will be you know identifying you as per your name so please enter name properly so i am entering my dummy information here um, So it will display you that uh, this is a trial version and it will expire on 2nd April 2013 that means uh, from the day today is 2nd February so it adds 60 days automatically and that means 2 months and if you like this application then only you will have to pay afterwards for the yearly subscription so once you pay you can use this application for one year so it is not like you will uh, it is forcefully you will have to pay it is your wish if you like it then only pay and use this app otherwise it's not a big deal you can ignore it okay uh, now uh, you can see as soon as i entered the personal information system asked me to add the code name so uh, this is uh, in the initial stage it will uh, you know guide you or it will automatically navigate you through the different screens so enter whatever information you want uh, you, you know you can enter in the initial stages it will be beneficial for you only so why because these things are mandatory to use this application so that is the reason we are without asking you we, we are you know navigating you guys to there so um, now i want to enter the application so i want uh, code name so i will enter on the code okay address will be other or something whatever now automatically it redirected you to the client information now you can see on the top whatever name i have entered in the personal information it is displayed here and this will be displayed on every pages so that is the reason um, i initially asked to enter the valid things but don't worry there is a button wherein you can again update 
if you enter wrong email id or wrong password or wrong uh, you know first name and the mobile number so not a problem so now this is a client so i am i will enter client one whatever the name is client address is optional email is optional contact is optional that means if you enter well and good if you don't want to enter just click on add okay it will move further now you can see there is search criteria you can search uh, by the client name also right now there is only one client so you may not you know feel the importance of the search criteria but if there are multiple clients like i will show you client two one is from mumbai now now one thing i want to tell you here is i will i will explain you this thing but uh, the um, different icons which, which you are looking at on these pages are unique like uh, are consistent the plus symbol is to add the record like right now if you are on the client page then you can add the client using this plus symbol but if you are on the core details page you can Uh, add the code using the same symbol on the right side so we are uh, you know using the consistency for ease of use so that you guys can understand and it will take less page less uh, place on the mobile device as it is very small so uh, now if i want to search mumbai you can see only one such criteria there and mumbai is highlighted so this is one very uh, you know nice search criteria we have implemented if you want to search client 1 it will Pull only one result. <coughs> If you want to update client one to Pune, update. Okay, we are updated. Now you can see Pune. Only one search result is there related to Pune. And <coughs> okay. Now you have. Now you would like to add the case. So click on the manage cases. Click on this button. Now case number one. client one you can select the code uh, if there is only one code it will be autom automatically selected but if there are multiple cases then only uh, you know you can you will have to select like this so there are two client i will have to select any one client <coughs> remarks remarks is uh, test for demo of mobile app. this is now case status can be running or decided So running case is the case which is like you know uh, not yet decided. The decision is pending. Okay, so there are two types of cases like uh, like status of cases case can be running or can be decided. Decided means it's completed. So by default it will be running. But if you feel that this case is completed or uh, its result is declared or something, you can make it decided so that it will not come into your drop down or anywhere. you can still see decided cases i will show you how how you can see so <clears throat> now i will click on uh, submit button and it will add the case so there are different things like um, you you guys like advocates are related to different things one is client one is code one is cases and the final thing is sh scheduling that cases like where on which date that case is scheduled so i will show you now case is created now here you can see three different buttons this button will show you complete detail you can see case details are here related to this case uh, code details are whatever i have selected from the drop down client details whatever i have selected from the drop down and code hearing details hearing details not found so yet uh, hearing details are not provided so what i will do is i will go to cases and click on this icon it will help me to schedule the uh, case so you can see reason for next hearing test demo yeah. date picker <coughs> i will select 7 february 2013 remarks reminder or whatever you can write here for the you know re your reminder your own sake so it it will it will be going to help you only i will click on submit and uh, that's it i have scheduled one one hearing now whatever you can see the detail here this is a schedule page so it will show you running cases by default and it will uh, you know there are <coughs> uh, different options for scheduling you can see today schedule 
there are there is no schedule for today if you can see tomorrow schedule you can see week schedule so this week you have one schedule on 7 february 2013 today is 2nd february uh, likewise so you can see the month schedule and uh, like that so if you feel that something is wrong you can click on these icons on any page so if you click on these icons it will ask you to demo change like whatever you want to change it will be automatically change you can see here so uh, everything is dynamic so no need to you know uh, like if you have entered one, anything and then you are not able to do it is not anything like that the only thing is uh, as of now we have not provided the delete options because of some technical uh, issues or uh, competencies so now you can see here <coughs> everything is here earlier it was saying court hearing detail are not found so now it is fixed for this this is the in the future date so this is one cycle so you have added client you have added court you have added case and you have also scheduled your case so now <coughs> if you want to again schedule the case it will not allow you to schedule the same case because there is only one case and it is already scheduled to the future date <coughs> you will have to create another case so come here on show menu or, or on the home page you will have to click on the manage cases you will have to click on this symbol and you can add another case case to whatever case you want to add select the drop down i am scheduling for client 2 client 2 for case 2 <coughs> clicking on submit now new case is added now i want to schedule this case so automatically it will auto selected because there is only one case to be scheduled now reason case 2 date picker whatever i uh, date is there it will uh, automatically not show you saturday sundays and the holidays which we have already entered so no need to worry about the dates whatever dates are there you will have to select among them all from this so, uh, it will be helpful for you <coughs> uh, so it's it's done so <coughs> you can see now two schedules are there so one of the best thing is you will get emails regularly for the uh, your Uh, next week uh, schedule so it is very helpful for you uh, it will send mail to you as well as to your clients regarding the next schedule so we are working on the uh, one of the uh, best thing here is uh, related to the sms sending so once we are done we will uh, provide you that functionality also so that automatically sms will be sent to the your clients as well as to you also uh, so that you guys no need to do manual things automatic everything will be automatic and one of the best thing is even if your mobile is stolen your data is safe uh, you know uh, we we can give you the data is stolen or damaged or water uh, problem anything even if your mobile has gone you just have to remember your email id whichever you have entered so that is the reason i am asking again and again to enter proper data whatever you are uh, trying here so you can see uh, we have uh, displayed the different icons also <coughs> and their meaning so this symbol is related to the adding the record this symbol is to view the complete detail this is for searching this is to update the record uh, and this is to send the email add hearing detail okay so you can see now i have got the email from the system automatically related to the uh, my next week schedule you can see here your schedule for next week case details code details client details next fixed for remarks and next fixed date whatever i will enter uh, so this is only one uh, schedule which i have got but if there are multiple schedules you will get all the schedules so no need to worry about uh, everything so um, i think this will help advocates a lot to schedule their work properly and to manage the different things no need to worry about anything uh, and uh, or enjoy the technological uh, you know <coughs> uh, implementation of your uh, advocates diary and case management that is the reason we have developed this application and we have given a big thought process we have uh, gone through different team meetings different meetings with advocates so that to uh, you know create uh, proper um, uh, mobile app so you can see the this is the index page you can do different thing you can <coughs> schedule the uh, appointments you can add the hearings you can uh, in cases manage the court manage the clients save the data to backup to server and different things so enjoy the app and <coughs> let us know if you uh, like it or if you have any suggestion